Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the Parent View app. Parent View is an app that syncs in real time with Synergy, which is what we use to document your students' attendance and grades. Parent View also allows you to check on your students' fees and email their teachers. If you haven't done so already, head to the App Store and download Parent View. It should be the purple icon. The first thing we are going to do is look up your school district. To look up your school district, enter your zip code. Grand Island Public Schools should be the first option that comes up. This is what we are going to choose. It's going to ask you if you want to select GIPS as your district. Answer yes. Next, it is going to ask you to activate an account. All parents already have an account in the Synergy system, so your account is already activated. If you do not remember your username or password, call your school's secretaries and ask them for your information. Once you have your information, enter it. To make login easier, click on the save buttons off to the side. A list of all your current students enrolled at GIPS will appear. Select on the student whose information you want. The following page has many options to choose from, but for now we're going to look into attendance. Each day that your child has missed will be listed on this page. Under each date your student has missed, each class period is shown. If your student missed a class, an icon will be shown below it. To better understand these icons, click the legend button. The first icon is going to be an orange yellow circle, which means your child was tardy to class. There will be two options for tardy, tardy excused or tardy unexcused. Tardy excused usually means that your child had a pass from a teacher or an administrator. Unexcused means that your child had no pass and had no reason to be late to class. A green circle is used to show an excused absence, and this is when a parent or guardian has called in and reported the absence. A red square means an unexcused absence, and this is when a parent or guardian has not called in and reported the absence. A green square means school activity, and this is when the student is away from school for school purposes. A gray circle means that the student is not scheduled for that said class period. By clicking on the individual dates, you can see exactly which periods were missed. If you want to email the teacher, you can click on the envelope icon. But in order for this to work, you do have to have your email set up on your device. Next, we are going to look at the gradebook. Here, all your students' current grades are listed. You can see which assignments have been turned in and which ones are missing by clicking on the class. Here all the assignments are listed and if your student has a missing assignment it will be listed in red. By clicking on a certain assignment you can see more details about the assignment. It is important to remember that daily assignments are 20% of your students grades and the assessments are 80%. You can also email your students' teachers from this page by selecting the email icon on the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Next, I'm going to show you how to report an absence to the parent view. For this, you have to go back to your student list. Each student will have a report absence button next to their name. This is where you go to report an absence. The first thing you're going to do is enter a start date. If you know your student is going to miss more than one day, you can enter an end date. If not, leave it blank. The only option for reason is parent request. If you have a medical note for your student, you can upload it by selecting add doctor's note or document. With an attached doctor's note, your student's absence will be changed to medically verified. As of now, only full days can be recorded. If your student will be late, report the whole day and their attendance will be changed once they arrive to school. If you need to take your student out of school early, it is better to call them out. The last thing to do is add a detailed note as to why your student will be absent. 
Once you have everything filled out, click on the Save button and your student's absence will be recorded on Synergy. There are many other features available, such as student fees. The best way to learn the app's features is exploring them on your own. As always, if you have any questions about your parent view or student, don't hesitate to call their school. Thank you.